Oh, baby. Hello, party people. Welcome back to TFC. We are going to break down and discuss our favorite movie villains, morally Disney, Disney than anything. We voted on Disney tonight. Yeah, we, we said we're going Disney, and all right. everybody's like, all right, fine. We're going Pixar first. Let's yeah. go with Sid from Toy Story. Man with the plan, always doing his thing, ruining everything. He, like, literally, Sid was the kid, like, growing up, that one kid who just broke every one of his toys, and you're like, <laughs> right. I hate that Everyone guy. Everyone knew like, him. Oh, he that. Everyone knew his And sin. next thing you know, like, your G.I. Joe's in, like, a million pieces. Right, and then it's transformed you're like, oh, I got into hit by a, a missile. You're baby. like, dude, I like <laughs> that guy. WTF does not stand for where's the fuck. Right, and, and Sid was just dirty. I remember watching him being like, y brush your I, teeth, man. It was, yeah. Dirty, dirty, going, little boy. But going with different, <laughs> like more di like Pixar e villains. Right. I would say probably one of my favorites of all time with a Disney Pixar villain would have okay. to be Hopper from A Bug's Life. <sighs> yes. He like Kevin he went Spacey there. He went there. is the man. I respect him as an actor. I mean, as an right. actor myself, I, I love Kevin Spacey. But the other thing is like, he made the character where you kind of like him. You're like, man, he right. doesn't seem. He's sinister, but you're like, okay, he's But he cool. like he knows what he's talking and then about. He'd snap in that evil mode, and then you're kinda like a little scared. Little right. Little, little freaked like out. I can't get out of my head the part when they're collecting the food and then he knocks the jar out and it just topples over that one guy and yeah. you're just like, no. Yeah, it's just like it's very much he's such a bad guy, but it was like you kinda liked him a little bit. Right. Loved it. I, Kevin I, Spacey, you're brilliant. You're a brilliant man. True. Where else do we go from this? Oh, we're gonna go with Alice in Wonderland, Queen, yeah, of, Queen Hearts. of Hearts. Um, I haven't seen the movie in forever in a right. week, but I know she scared the crap out of me because mm -hmm. she was, she's what we call BSC, badish crazy, <laughs> okay. and she scared me. I'm not gonna I want to say, um, like when Tim Burton redid it, like he redid the Alice in Wonderland, crazy. Like she was so like animated but human. It it was insane, and she was scary with her little pig. Tim Burton is very. It's Tim Burton esque. Yeah, but but going with going with like like live action cartoony remakes, mm -hmm. we're gonna go with Peter Pan. Take it away. Peter Pan. I have expert expert knowledge because I was in Peter Pan twice in expert theater. Expert knowledge. Like it's me. Kudos. Two thousand and one. Williamstown. Bring it. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm saying how old I am. I don't care. But with Hook, like the cartoon version, right. like he was still like you feared him. But you still like liked him because he was still a good right. bad guy. You're like, okay, I, Peter Pan's the guy we root for, but Hook's kind of cool. But yeah, and Smee's kind of funny. We like him, but Hook is the bad guy. Right. And in the actual movie, Hook, Dustin Hoffman is the man. Like he plays Hook to perfection. Mm -hmm. I like Hook's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's right. just so well done, and it just adds such more mythos to the whole Peter Pan Definitely. thing. It just I'm gonna, makes it, it's super duper enjoyable. I'm gonna take it back to a Pixar movie, Mr. Waternoose. From Monster Zinc, talking to you, man. You're freaky. You're like a crab. You're like, hey, he's a crab, right? He's got like guess, a thousand yeah. legs or a big spider. Is he a yeah, spider? He's a freaking dude. He's got a million legs. And, and he chases cool. Boo around, and she's the cutest little thing ever. It, Boo reminds me of like one of Mr. Waternoose with his crab legs. Uh, Mr. Waternoose and your crab legs. <laughs> you're kind of freaky and you're scaring me. Or anything else you want to talk about? Oh, God, let's think here. Because I, I said that one. he was what I wanted to talk about. We're going to have to go with the other one. This is one of those mind-blowing kind of moments. I don't even know what it is. What was Scar's name before he got the Scar? From the Lion King? It's like, hey, Uncle Scar. What did they call him before he got his eye messed up? No one knows. Someone knows. Was it Pete? Was it, hey, Be Uncle Bill. Oh, he got a Scar. Now he's Scar. Now he's crazy. It was definitely I mean, Jeremy. It was, it had, it's, but it's one of those things. It's, 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 free, it's frightening. What was his name? Right. But he is a and then how villain. he dies? That is the oh. worst death. Is, I will give kudos to our camera guy, Steve. He was like, he had the worst death ever. And I'm like, really? He goes, he was eating alive, dude. I was like, no. Oh, dear No one deserves God. that. No one deserves that. Like, I forgot he was eating alive. But that is just so, I mean, yeah, he was a rotten SOB, but yep. that's just not cool. All right. Like, yeah. Great movie, though. Lion yeah, King. Yeah, Lion King. I remember seeing the title as a kid going, I don't know if it's going to be any good. Amazing. And then I spent like every weekend watching it like four times going, this movie's awesome. But Scar, rest in peace, man. Like, yeah, that's a horrible that way to go. Horrible way to go, but awesome villain. Gotta say. Yes. Great villain.
Anything else you want to bring up? Nope, I think no? we're goodly. All right, well, we're going to take another break. And when we come back, it's time for the box office breakdown and news. Sweet.